Alright, it's 28 April and we're just going to do uh, an update on the sunflowers, the mammoth sunflowers. And so far the tallest one right now, right on the far left, it's right around nine and a half feet. And some of the ones on the right, they're from uh, close to eight and a half, close to nine feet. With that one right in the middle, it's getting really close to nine feet. And the one that flowered earliest is probably only about three, three and a half feet. But it looks like for the most part, most of them get pretty tall. And the one that's about nine and a half feet will probably flower right at about ten feet. And one thing that's really interesting is some of these guys actually get stunted. This one's barely starting to form a bud. I'm going to assume this one, which is right around getting close to 5 feet, it's probably going to get close to 10. But it's pretty amazing because it actually got stunted at one point where its apical point was actually pointing directly in one direction, but it looks like it completely recovered. And it's actually grown another good 2.5 feet since it actually got stunted. Whereas these guys, some of these stems are pretty amazing. This guy right here. And this guy right here. These stems are right at around two and a half inches. And I wouldn't be surprised if I see some of these stems exceed three inches when they're fully grown. And more impressive are the leaves. My hand's right around eight inches long and it looks like it's just about double the length. Yeah, it's way bigger than my hand. So yeah, these leaves are enormous. And it looks like the ones that get that are growing on the outside get as much sun as possible and they look just get really big in diameter and just get huge which will likely result in a huge flower head. Because usually the bigger the stem, the bigger the plant overall, the more energy it has to uh, make a huge seed head. But this one right here, it's getting above 8 feet. It's probably 8, 2, 8, 3. I have no idea. But, yeah, it doesn't even look like it's close to flowering. So, I won't be surprised to see this one get close to 15 feet. Uh, I'm going to think more like uh, 13, 14. And same about this one. This one's also right around 8, a little over 8 feet. And it's also not showing too many signs of getting close to flowering. It might be starting to get a flower bud, but that's just about it. But this one's quite a bit skinnier. I'm thinking one well, of these two are probably going to end up being the tallest and even with another week, they definitely going to be well over 10 feet. So, uh, they're well on their way to becoming giants. Because at this stage, they grow pretty fast. And this one right here, it's only about 7 feet. And it's about at the same stage. It might be starting to show a little bit of bud development at the top, but not a whole lot. But I don't think it's going to get too big. And here are the rest. This is what I mean when they get stunted. I don't know if it's calcium deficiency or what, but it clearly got a wound right here. This one's probably going to flower really soon, and it's going to only flower right around five feet. This is kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. Not all of them do well. Oh, this one only really flowered at a little bit over five feet. I'll actually start hunching over, but it reached right about five, right, close to five and a half feet. Oh, well, this one was going to be huge, but it also got stunted somehow. I'm not really sure why. It was right here. Here's the point where it got stunted. And once it recovered, now the leaves kind of start bunching together, so it's going to flower pretty soon. It's a little bit over 7 feet, maybe about an uh, inch or two above 7 feet. But it's not even going to get close to 8 feet for flowering, so 
sometimes these guys do get stunted, but when they don't, these mammoth sunflowers can really get huge. So I simply have to back up all the way just to get these guys in the picture. Some of them grow normally and they still end up pretty small like this one. It's taking a step up. This is still under six feet. And it's already forming a bud so it's not gonna get too much taller. And these are the two. They're each about five and a half feet but show absolutely no signs of budding so I have no idea how tall these are gonna get but the only worry I have is if these guys get way over 10 feet they have really skinny stems, so these guys might have trouble standing up on their own. Just because they were planted a little bit later and they're growing out of the shade, so they're going to be really tall and spindly unless they gain a little bit of diameter once they get taller. I have to back up way back here just to be able to get all these guys into the picture. So it is possible for me to get a 15 footer. I just have to make sure I keep on watering them really well. And right at this stage, fertilizing doesn't really make too much of a difference just because whatever I could have done uh, should have already been done since they have got to this stage. And once they actually start budding, you really can't do too much more to get them any bigger. But I'm pretty satisfied with these results.